Hello to all my good friends in China. And uh, no, I'm not on Mars, even though it looks like that, but that's why I'm making this video. I'm excited. I'm really, really happy that you guys have landed not just on Mars, which is really hard, but with a rover. And that's your rover in the background. And I want you just to reflect on this accomplishment. Uh, there has been sort of 45 or so attempts to do something on Mars. I think more than half of them have failed and most of them have been much simpler than uh, this kind of thing you've built. Uh, this is quite incredible and take a bow. Uh, this is uh, nice. I'm reminded of a talk I was making in Beijing, oh gosh, seven, eight years ago. And I think it was at uh, China Telecom and I had a Q&A session and someone said to me, uh, when is China gonna catch up with the, with the US and the space program? And I said, whenever it wants to, because that's the nature of your country. Anything you put your will to, you can do. And so uh, there you are, and you've done it. And I think, uh, you know, the U.S. has maybe done this four or five times, but after a bunch of failures, and I don't know that this isn't the first time you've tried this. But anyway, uh, you, have, you have this wonderful social context. The secret to your success, I think, is not genes. It's not education, those are all good things, but it's the social environment. And whenever, whenever I was there, I experienced it. It was enlivening, it was full of entrepreneurs, energized, um, so I miss you guys. Uh, my favorite students in the world, best ever. Uh, I, I loved being with you. Wasn't for COVID, I'd be there now, uh, but here we are. So the bad news is that I'm fully vaccinated, but not traveling. Uh, I don't think it's even possible to come to China easily these days or most of the rest of the world. And so we're sitting home. By the way, you may also know that our wonderful home burned to the ground last October in a wildfire. And I've been busy redesigning the new house. So that, that's been fun for me. And uh, it's, it's really great pleasure be able to build something exactly as you want. And of course, I've brought all of the methods from my space projects into this. I think to the chagrin of my contractor, but that's okay, that's what he's paid to do. And so, the but the good news is, uh, the bad news is I can't come visit you and I don't know when that's gonna change, maybe not for years. The good news is you have me there in another form. Uh, Michael and Finney, or Finney and Michael might be a better way to say it. Finney's the boss of the company. Now, uh, they have been working with me for, I'd say, at least 10 years. My first return trip to China as an adult was uh, about 10, so, 10 or so years ago. And I was brought there by uh, China Aerospace could, because they had a young engineer who's interested in leadership and found my book and had very wonderful interactions with them. And on my, th 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 during that time, uh, the publisher in China wanted to publish my book, which hopefully some of you have, and, and did so. And I went to meet with the publisher and my good friend, Dr. Mao from uh, China Aerospace went with me more to accompany me and help me get around Beijing. And uh, so I went to meet the publisher and I expected to be just Dr. Mao and I on one side of the table and a, a dozen or so Chinese on the other side. Well, I sat down and my side of the table had 15 people and their side had three. And I wonder, what is this? Well, it was Michael and Finney and the others who had been doing 4D workshops uh, because I made my intellectual property free. So I had a toehold there before I ever came. And I've been coming back uh, twice a year for two months. It's the highlight of my time. And shucks, but you've got very capable people, Michael and Finney, Finney and Michael are my alter egos. They know the 4D system, they use it, they live it. Uh, and I think all the processes are, are really important. I, I think the, uh, the, the team development and individual development accelerators, I put calling them assessments because they're so powerful as behavioral change instruments are probably the easiest for you to use to get started and track your progress. Michael and Finney can do this for you. They are professionals. Uh, so I'm just basking in this wonderful 
thing you've done on Mars. It's incredible. Uh, my compliments to you. It's, uh, I'm sure you'll be back. I think once you do it a few times, it's much, much easier, kind of like everything else. And we'll see where you go next. Uh, I can't wait to join the adventure, either hopefully seeing you in person or through my friends in China. And if you have any questions you'd like to ask me, you can relay them through uh, Finney and Michael. They know how to contact me. We're in frequent contact. I'll either address them with a recorded thing like this if it's interesting to general people or answer you myself uh, when I'm not busy playing with my house construction. I've got time. And uh, if you're curious about what that looks like, I'll share that too. Anyway, so it's uh, 10 in the morning here in Boulder, Colorado. Uh, we'll be moving into our new house next summer. We're in a rental house now, which is fine and uh, staying in touch with you guys on Zoom and best wishes to you and thank you for all the love. That's joy of my life. Have a good day and be safe.